Century. Hello everyone and welcome to a 1-400 scale Guam and Tony B1 Pot International Airport update. Uh, we have a pretty stacked update here, some new models, which it's been a while uh, since we've had some new models here for Guam. So uh, that is pretty exciting here. Uh, really excited to get into this update here. We'll start uh, with this Genera 737-900 here. Of course, the customized Genera 737-900 uh, and uh, this one is just pushing back now for Sol and Shun. They also are in from Sol and Shun that will be doing the turnaround today. All right, here we have the United Airlines 737-800 in the Starlands livery. Of course, a beautiful model by NG. This one came in from Tokyo Narita, and it'll be heading out to Osaka. So two uh, great Jap Japanese routes here. And it's also really awesome to uh, use some 737s on those, as that's uh, normally not possible from most cities in America, but uh, of course, Guam, uh, with this airport here of being a United Hub, uh, they can have that. So that's pretty cool to see there. Uh, Guam is just such a unique airport, and I love this model airport for, uh, for that reason. Although there are a lot of models that are hard to uh, find for it, uh, especially a lot of the uh, uh, random Korean airlines, are not really random, but uh, the wide assortment of uh, Korean airlines that fly here. And really, I only have that custom Shin Air model uh, for the, to represent those right now. Uh, so uh, that is why the Hapag Lloyd is used a lot here. Not today, uh, but I will have to use that more as there seems to be an increasing influx of flights from Jeju Air right now. So uh, I expect to see some more Hapag Lloyd uh, aircraft here until I can get a Jeju Air model uh, as uh, they fly 738s and... I believe there are models of them, but I'm not quite sure, so I can do some research on that uh, and hopefully find a Jeju Air model that will be applicable here for Guam. And to the left of your screen right there, we have another United Airlines 737-800, this one in the Continental Globe livery. This one also came in from Tokyo Narita, and uh, this will be doing the turnaround service and heading back out there. And then uh, right up next here, we have the 737-700 here, filling in for an 800, uh, of course in the Evo Blue livery. And this one uh, also came in for Tokyo Narita. All the arrivals are from Tokyo Narita. Uh, but this one will be heading out to Airai. So they only fly the 737-800s uh, and mostly the 777-300s here, although I have seen 777-200s uh, and other aircraft here. But uh, for the 737s, it's really been just the 737-800 uh, that flies here for United. And, of course, they have their whole... Uh, it, it sprung out from continental Micronesia, and now United has taken over those routes. And, of course, they do the island hopper on that aircraft and everything. So a really cool history here, really uh, fun past. And uh, it would be cool to do a retro Guam update, although I doubt that's going to happen. So, um, I mean, for now, we're just going to enjoy the uh, modern-day Guam here with a ton of United aircraft. And a uh, gr great place where I can uh, represent a lot of these United aircraft that I uh, have in my collection that I may not be able to use so much at other airports. I mean, a lot of these I can use at MSP, but uh, getting into these next few aircraft, that uh, will become less and less the case. And here we go. Uh, here are the two models that are most anticipated for this update. Two brand new models here, or at least in terms of the United 777-300. That one is a brand new model. Uh, United 767, I've had that one for a while here, but it is the first time these both both of these are appearing in an airport update. So very exciting here. Of course, I've been waiting for this United 777 for so long. It's finally here. So glad to have it in. So And, and I can use it here at Guam, of course, because they fly these all the time to Guam. So actually, we'll just get it uh, focused in on that one there. Uh, can zoom it in. There we go. So here we have the United 777-300, brand new model, beautiful model by Aviation 400, the, the most detailed 1400 scale model that I have in my collection right now. And this one came in from Honolulu, and we're doing the turn on heading back out there. So uh, yeah, that's what they pretty much do, only Honolulu and Hong Kong on the 777s, uh, for United the 777-300s. And then sometimes we get uh, 777-200s from an assortment of continental US cities, um, seemingly, mostly San Francisco and sometimes Chicago as well. So uh, those you'll see periodically here, but uh, of course I don't have a 777-200 model. I do have the Darren version, so there is that, but uh, I don't plan on using those anymore. So now I have these proper United models. So I'll bring up this one, and uh, here is the United Airlines 767-300. This is in the old Star Alliance livery, as you can see. 
Uh, I think it's a gorgeous livery. I know some people may not like it too much because it looks a little bit weird. But I personally like the livery here. And uh, I like the new Star Alliance livery too. I like all the Star Alliance liveries, to be fair. Uh, I like all the uh, Alliance liveries. At least, uh, I wouldn't say One World is too great. Uh, I, I like Sky Team and Star Alliances, but One World could be a little more creative, I think, with theirs. Uh, but right here we have the United Netherlands, as I said, 767-300 and the old Star Alliance livery. This one also came in from Honolulu, uh, but this one will be heading out to Hong Kong later. So interesting that they replaced a 777, uh, I'm, I presume it would be a 777, with uh, this uh, United Airlines 767 here. So uh, very nice to see here. Uh, when I saw these two in the flight schedule, I really wanted to do this airport update so I could include both of these models for the first time in the same update. So really awesome to see here. Two fantastic models here by Dragon Wings and by Aviation 400. So um, really love to see it, especially the Aviation 400, 300 That is so detailed. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, I highly suggest you check out my review on it. Uh, but I also don't want to do too, too much channel promo here. But I did do a review on it a few days ago. So uh, if you want to check out some more details about that model, go ahead and uh, take a look at that. I'm not stopping you in any way. And now moving into the cargo section finally, which is not your typical U.S. cargo area here. So I got two aircraft on here today. Normally it's just uh, this one, and this is an ASL Belgium 737-200 uh, that I'm filling in for an Asia Pacific Airways, or Airlines 737-200. For some reason I always say Airways, but it is Airlines. Uh, NG Models did just make one of these, and I hope to get one of those soon. Uh, right now, uh, I just... Probably going to be a Christmas model because I don't really want to spend... Uh, 50 bucks on it so uh, maybe maybe you can get it for Christmas and that would be a very key addition here it'll make these updates a lot more realistic so hopefully that will come in in the uh, holidays time but uh, for now we have this beautiful model here which we can showcase instead and this one is even though it's not too much not too many details on it it's just completely blank uh, I know this is kind of a random model that I have but uh, you know it is a really nice model uh, to say the least here by NG so um, this one is operating under Asia Pacific Airlines, and this one came in from Chuk, and it will be heading out to Honolulu. Uh, normally, they also do the Hong Kong Honolulu thing, uh, but this time it is coming in from Chuk, so really nice to see there. And then finally, our last aircraft here is this little uh, Southern Airways Express uh, Cessna Caravan here. I'm assuming this is a cargo flight, but it doesn't really give me a lot of details on flight radar. Um, so we're just gonna deal with it here, and I have my little, uh, Shapeways Custom here. This is originally supposed to be an Air Choice 1 Custom for MSP, but they've stopped flying to MSP, so now I have these two Cessna Caravans lying around here, and, uh, I use them for things like this, and, you know, FedEx Feeder, and their flights and such, so, uh, this one came in from Saipan, which is an island that is close to Guam. No information on the flight out, but I assume it will be heading back out there. It, that, that seems to be what they do. Uh, pretty much all the time. So, yeah, that'll do it for this update of Guam. We'll get it back in on these two beautiful aircraft, which I just turned on the lighting. Let's see if we can bring it back here. That's looking a lot better. Sorry about that. I'm trying to readjust, readjust the camera, and I mess up all the lighting. So, um, yeah, that'll conclude it. Uh, great update here. I'm just glad to have finally these two models here to include at Guam. Makes the updates so much more realistic, so much better. Um, you know, the, the, these these are really key assets here, especially the United 777-300 back there. I know I've said it a lot, but that is such a nice model to have, and I'm so happy to finally include it here in a Guam update. Um, so, so clutch right there. So, yeah, after, after all that, that'll conclude this Guam update. Thank you all for checking it out, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen.